Hi, welcome or welcome back to my channel. Thank you for clicking on today's video. Today's areas of focus are the dining room and kitchen. Both of these spaces are high traffic, so they're in my cleaning rotation frequently. If you need motivation to clean something in your home or just want to find out what I've been up to lately, get comfy. If you're cleaning with me, grab your supplies and let's get this done. Here is what the dining room looks like. I'll get to the kitchen in just a moment. You may notice that neither room is really messy and that's because as I mentioned earlier, these are high traffic rooms, so I have to clean them on quite a regular basis. As you can see, I'm getting started in the dining room. This space is usually low hanging fruit, so it's one of my favorite rooms to get started in for routine cleanings. I hope that you've had a good week. Please feel free to share your praises below. If you're in need of prayer, I'd love to be able to do that, so please feel free to leave a message. But if you're not comfortable stating the reason why you need prayer, just say unspoken prayer. Whatever your concern may be is between you and God. He'll hear your prayers and mine on your behalf without a single detail being shared. In terms of my week, I was able to experience a once-in-a-lifetime event for the second time. I'll talk about that experience and share some pictures. Unfortunately, not all of my news this week is good news. Stick around and I'll share more later. I'm going to give the dining room table a good wipe down before I put the tablecloth and table runner back on. I've had them off for about two weeks now because I needed to wash them both. Stick around and you'll see what drama came out of washing those items. As I put the tablecloth back on, I want to take a moment to talk about the table runner. So as I mentioned, I washed it and it shrank. It shrank, so it barely reached from end to end on the table, as you can see here. I'm trying to get it to work and make it fit from end to end, but it's just not working. It's bunching up the tablecloth in the middle. So the only solution to this problem was to buy another table runner, which I did order from Amazon, and I expect it to arrive in the next day or so. Let me take this moment to make a proper introduction. Hi, I'm T, a married mom of five. Four are young adults who are not in the home anymore, and we're still raising our 10-year-old. We are also first-time grandparents. We have a granddaughter who is seven weeks old at the time of this recording. On this channel, you will see cleaning motivation, DIY home improvement, and room makeovers. If this is something that interests you, please consider subscribing to my channel. If you are a new viewer, welcome. I hope you're enjoying what you're seeing so far. If you are a returning viewer or subscriber, 
Thank you, thank you, thank you. Your continuing support means more than you'll ever know. I have moved on to the kitchen. There's not a ton to do in here. I do have to declutter the island, wash a few dishes, um, wipe down several uh, countertops and surfaces, and also, of course, mop the floor. As I mentioned, there's really not a lot to do in here. This is a basic tidying. This is not a deep cleaning. Um, as a matter of fact, I spent three videos worth of deep cleaning in this kitchen, so there's really just maintaining it from day to day, and that's what I'm doing right now. There's a bag on the countertop right beside the refrigerator, and it has two boxes of cereal that I bought for our new granddaughter. One of the boxes, uh, it says granddaughter on one side and grandson on the other side, and the other box says um, grandmother on one side and abuela on the other side. I have chosen the nickname Abby, which is short for Abuela, so these boxes of Cheerios were the perfect find. Should I close my eyes and never again Hold you tight, call you mine Think about you every time I remember that it's over, yeah You never break, you never lie You never ever scared of My good news from this week is that I was able to see the total solar eclipse This was not a once in a lifetime event for me it was actually a twice-in-a-lifetime event. My husband and I and two of our kids went to Bowling Green, Kentucky for the one in 2017. And we were in Indianapolis for the same event this year. Uh, here are a couple of pictures of what we were able to experience. My husband took these because I just didn't take the time to figure out the camera settings, but they are amazing pictures. It was an amazing experience, and we're already looking forward to the next US-based eclipse, although there are other total solar eclipses in other countries at different times. Some not good news from this week is that uh, we stayed in a hotel the night before the eclipse and I woke up with severe back pain. I actually had a chiropractic appointment scheduled for that day, but then when I realized we were going to be out of town, I canceled that appointment and I actually, um, even if I had rebooked it before I left town, it wouldn't have mattered because the back pain <laughs> was going to happen no matter what because that's just what hotel beds tend to do to me. So I actually had really severe back pain for about three days after getting back home and sleeping in my own bed. That I'm okay, it's just a phase And everything is going just great I think about you a lot It's almost like I can't stop Can't stop yeah, yeah. Like can't stop. If you are enjoying this video, please like, share, and comment. These activities really help my channel. That we stay close But is the 
life that we chose It takes time to get it right Sleepless days and nights We just need a little more Just a little time For you and I So stay going to use this LA's totally awesome kitchen cleaner to wipe down the appliances. So we can see we're fading away. So it's hopeless that we stay close. But it's the life that we chose. It takes time to get it right. Sleepless days and nights. We just need a little more. Just a little time for you and I So stay a bit longer Just a little time for you and I Until it's over Just a little time Just a little I'm going to use this damp paper towel to wipe off the crumbs from the stove and then I'm going to use the same uh, kitchen cleaner that I used to wipe down the other appliances. But there's something about you, something about you I like, about you I like. You're crazy for saying I should slow down, but maybe I'm escaping the love we found. There's something about you, something about you I like, about you I like I get too drunk and too scared and lie to you As you can see through the window, it is quite lush in our backyard. This is the time of year where it rains so much that we need to have the grass cut once per week. Um, in fact, it's been raining so much that it's hard to get in the next cut. Um, because it's just so wet. It's so soggy outside. By the way, we do not cut our own grass. We do have a guy that comes and does that for us, but he's busy um, always trying to stay on top of his customers' yards because there's just so much rain. Um, on a similar note, I did go outside a few days ago, maybe about a week ago at this point, and I finally deadheaded our hydrangeas. This is the second season we're going into having them. They were installed by the landscaper last summer. It was, I think, midsummer. I managed to keep them alive until the fall. And this year, I'm already starting to see some of the leaves come back. But I'm really excited to see what kinds of blooms we're going to get later this year. I do not have a green thumb, so I'm just excited that I managed to keep these plants alive into the next year. I get too drunk and too scared and lie to you. If only you knew I would die for you. One of us. Gotta say the obvious Nobody loves me better yet I get too drunk and too scared and lie to you If only you knew I would die for you One of us, one of us Gotta say the obvious Nobody loves me better Nobody loves me better
better tell the truth real fast And then we're probably done at last Cause I got somewhere to be And you're done deceiving me Into thinking I couldn't do better Yeah, I know I was probably crazy Thinking someday you'd change There's nothing left to do now So I'm playing the game And so, heartbreaker I've been working you out You made loads of mistakes But none that you talk about I'm watching every move you make And I'm on to you Come on, heartbreaker Give in and surrender to me Well, we got it done. Thank you for following along as I tackled our two eating areas. If you enjoyed this video and have not yet done so, please consider giving it a big thumbs up. If you are not subscribed to this channel but would like to see this kind of content in the future, please click the subscribe button. And when you do, don't forget to click the notification bell so that you won't miss out on future uploads. Until the next time, stay blessed. And so, heartbreaker, I've been working you out. You made loads of mistakes, but none that you talk about. I'm watching.